I know I'm Poonam Pramod Mahajan, but I'm not Pramod Mahajan. I was thrown into politics at that time. Was uh, let me just be very clear. Maybe I was numb. I did not know how it started at that time and how I took it forward till here now. And sometimes I look back, I still um, can smell his blood on my hand. One very senior journalist, uh, she told me once I had asked Pramod Ji in 2001 a question that what do you think who will take uh, you know mm. your name forward. He said Rahul is very active. He will, but my Shravan Bal Poonam is. When my father was in the hospital, Bala Sahib came in and he just, my father was in coma. He told him, promote it. That you know that kind of connection was the alliance. Congress is, but it is only a little bit of a little Congress. Gandhi name also remove it, and Rahul Sharma ko Rashtriya Adhyaksh ko hi bana dijiye. Aane wale samay mein. आने वाले समय में कहिए जब मैं यात्रा में चलूंगा तो यहाँ पे जीजा जी नहीं रहेंगे बहन जी नहीं रहेंगी बहन जी का डॉगी नहीं रहेगा भतीजा जी भांजी जी नहीं रहेंगे पूनम एट 26 एंड पूनम एट 42 लिटिल बेटर इट्स वेरी टफ टू हैंडल योर हाउस वर्क बी अ पर्टिकुलर वे वेर योर सेफ Hmm. Mentally, physically, politically. I'm a cool mother. Actually, okay. the children and their friends also find me very cool. Okay. So, I have to say that area is very good. It's like in politics, there's a lot of people who are in the world. Wow. Hello, Dr. Sanjay Singh. Hello, Namaste, Jay Hind. Welcome to another edition of ANI Podcast with Smita Prakash. Many of the viewers and listeners of this podcast have asked us to invite guests from different parts of the country to our Delhi studios. So today we have taken the podcast to Mumbai. We have a young politician, Poonam Mahajan, who has carved a niche for herself in the Bharatiya Janata Party. She was known more as her father's daughter, but today she will talk to us more about what her vision for her party and her state is. Poonam ji, thank you so much for coming on the ANI podcast. I always like to have young people come on the podcast and give me their view about what they want India uh, to be. So I'm very, very grateful that you're here. No, no, I'm honored, Smita ji, and I would, I, it's, it's, it's wonderful to be here. And not Poonam ji, Poonam, as we have seen you and we look up to you as a leader who's taking journalism forward. So it's an honor for me. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Uh, so I've. You know, um, I've had the good fortune of uh, beginning my reporting career in the political field. I used to do a little bit of Ministry of External Affairs, but political field when your dad was very active in politics. So uh, we've had a couple of brushes which were great, <laughs> <laughs> you know, which were abrasive at times. Of course, he was a politician and I was the one asking the question. So a little bit of no joke, which Fun. is... Typical, yeah, right? Why not? Yeah. I think he could even take that forward. Absolutely. And with Advani ji, and uh, I met him uh, several times. Uh, and then uh, it was this very difficult phase uh, when I saw you enter politics. Many of us in Delhi were, sh were shocked at that incident which happened. For you, it was a trial by fire before you got into politics. At such a young age, you were just 26 and you were thrown into uh you know, into politics at that young age. What what did you think at that time? Like it was, those were very big shoes to fill, your dad's. Um, I did not think of filling his shoes, first of all, because I know I'm Poonam Pramod Mahajan, but I'm not Pramod Mahajan. Once that's clear in my head, I can take my, it just, I do have his blessings, luckily his name, uh, good fortune where he has touched many lives where people are nice to me and they try to teach me on my path what better I can do. Sometimes when I make mistake also they can tell me that your father wouldn't have liked it. Mm -hmm. This is how it should be. I was thrown into politics at that time. Was uh, Let me just be very clear. Maybe I was numb. I did not know how it started at that time and how I took it forward till here now. Um, I won't be um, uh, telling you the... Uh, it won't be... It's a truth that at that time that was the only area we just wanted to as family to take this thing forward um, I don't have any, any explanation to that it's not like I was getting ready for politics yes a lot of things we saw with him maybe I was always stuck to me as a little kid he wanted to always spend time with me so I did learn something which was very subconsciously seeing certain things but um, yes it was a traumatically tough time and again I feel being his daughter has given me a lot of strength 
uh, there was lot of positives also and lot of negatives also mm. and in my path where i lost an election then won an election got lot of opportunities to work forward i learned a lot i learned a lot punam at 26 and punam at 42 little better i wouldn't be saying but a great learning experience and trying to do better uh, you know you said that um many people would come and say to you that your father wouldn't have done this or your father wouldn't have liked what you're doing or whatever it's hard for uh for the young the next generation whether a boy or a girl uh to chart your own path because everybody expects you to be your dad or mom <laughs> uh my mother i couldn't be because she's really too good a mother and um, it's my mother's very calm and a very composed person positive I couldn't take any trait from her <laughs> sadly but my father yeah there are certain things which maybe I also have it in me maybe if you tell me punam you have to come at certain time what work is given to you you have to i i take everything as a project hmm. and i need to excel in that competitively that i got it from my father but again i tell people it's wonderful that look at me as you know you could be like him but i am not pramod mahajan Mm. I'm lucky to be Poonam Pramod Mahajan and that's my identity mm. and that's how I took it forward I'm lucky to have his name lot of love and support from people experiences that bloodline DNA but if I start thinking like that maybe I'll just deviate my life into a very different arrogant route to take it forward but I know where I stand Tokar very early no in the sense that first you lose your dad and then you lose your first election Oh badly that too badly <laughs> like uh, it was it was just a big uh, reality check again and uh, then I realized that Poonam you need to learn I made lot of mistakes in that election before that Uh, certain ways and i think those mistakes taught me a lot and that's why i'm here mm. so yes thokar pe thokar thokar pe thokar but now if we get thokar also utna dard nahi hota mm. kyunki hame pata hai ki niche jhuk ke bhi chalna zaruri hai aage dekh ke chalte waqt thoda samajh bhi aana chahiye ki kahan pe thokar lagne wali hai so prepare yourself good uh, philosophy <laughs> for life uh, especially for youngsters you know who uh, maybe had a, a softer kamal a uh, childhood and then suddenly comes this jolt which you're not prepared for it right see uh, childhood was always karma for everyone and i've seen my father's hard work living in a two bedroom house typical marathi medium girl in a marathi household uh, where uh, first netas didn't have a place to stay ghar mein aate the my job is to give used to be to give a glass of water uh tatalawa just put plates uh, put namak nimbu and singdana chutney which is very famous from marathwada that was my job sabzi i could not keep because i was too small to do my mother said you always make a mess maybe from there then listening to everyone chai dete waqt chai ke cup uthate waqt i think that learning from there to seeing my father taking a oath as the first defense minister for nda in 1996 uh, his uh, speeches there is a lot i saw and then suddenly at 2006 Uh, you know and i was on a call with him and it happened just in 10 minutes yeah so you don't forget this but yeah life has completely changed i cannot say they'll be the same more comfortable life i look at you uh, you were one of the first who saw the body right he was still he, alive yes no, of course was, we we yes. uh, uh, we i live just few buildings i used to live few buildings away from him and it's all in the deposition also in court um uh, i got a call and uh, he was supposed to come to my house we used to exercise together chit chat at the time and uh, there was a delay in timing because mm. i told him come bit later and in that 10 minutes a uh, lot of things happened i ran to him uh, we picked him i picked him by myself and sometimes i look back i still um can smell his blood on my hand i mean it must be a painful thing and i don't make a uh, I don't explain these things to Your people. Your mother was in the room. My mother was there, and uh, Munde ji was there. Um, the staff who was standing there, that boy was there, and uh, it just it, it it was a traumatic time. Uh, I could see him sitting on a sofa, hurt and in a shock. That why did this happen to me? I mean, bleeding profusely. Oh, actually, no. it was more of an internal bleeding. My mother had tied a dupatta. It frankly. it's hazy but still clear because early in the morning you do not expect yeah. something like this to happen 
we just decided we were on the 15th floor so smaller lifts how it goes uh, just pick him and go that time we didn't have a ceiling so we had to go from the other road to hinduja um it it was just traumatic you don't understand what was going on and uh, then um, it we just took him i spoke to him in the lift and imagine when i was talking to him and of course it's all over uh, in news also he said what did i do wrong that i had to see this in my life i've given everything to everyone to my siblings and you know whatever i could do and i just told my father when i was holding him he was too heavy for me to hold imagine and uh, i just say um, baba don't worry shri ganesh ay namah this is the new phase in our life everything is going to change and we'll do better but uh, i did not know that new phase will be without him mm. so uh, and then we reached hospital my whole family was there my husband was there uh, my friends everybody came but uh, my brother came i don't remember the thousands of people were there so and those 12 days are hazy lot of things happened people came and went uh, hazy um, and then he just uh, Yeah, it's it was a long traumatic time after that also when mm. he passed away. But it wasn't as if it was over, right? Then the court thing started after that. Yeah, I was just talking to someone the other day, sitting I think outside court number thirty-five, uh, and every day reading through the depositions, what was going on. Not a lawyer, just a commercial pilot, uh, having that uh, chai wale ki chai, subah se leke shaam tak, because there was nothing left in my life for all of us actually. and we really found, wanted to fight that case because when there is a bigger name involved politically or any bigger name people also talk uh, there is always a conspiracy theory of people attaching it to something else you know it is interesting for people to make up story and i wanted to fight for the truth hmm. so yeah it, it it was a very difficult time and uh, we um, we were sailing through you pointed to your uncle and you said that he is the one who made me an orphan he did and that was my that was the turning point in the case i guess when you turned uh, i think i don't know which was the turning point you know. frankly mm. no idea uh, and that was not important to me but yeah i tried to keep myself calm what is it like coming face to face with your father's killer if i may ask you a very personal question um uh, see a per- what is going on in a person's mind you'll never know and what was going in my mind will be always remain in my mind uh because it's not worth as a daughter there were a lot of things were going on in my heart and uh, and you're still numb why i mean i have seen growing up everybody getting their fair chances from a oldest brother whose father passed away really young at his 21 years of age and then taking care of everyone as a family and giving everything uh but it just doesn't matter anymore this because he's gone and uh, it's it's still whenever i meet anyone in parliament anywhere they remember him makes me f- feel a bit peaceful to the mm. past what we have seen a mm. bit peaceful you know you said um, and i'll quote you i know who killed my father but how is it those in power did not get to know about this when you were in power you never found out who was the mastermind behind it you know you you identified your father's killer but then you're saying there's a mastermind or you said there's a mastermind yeah i did say that mm. there is a reason because it cannot be a reason Uh, for a person to kill his brother who he believed was his like his father he was a 4 year old when his father passed away and i never saw them uncomfortable with each other to an extent where there was this kind of anger hmm. um someone has to put something in someone's mind to be so extreme with small issues it couldn't be just this momentary could be couldn't be no yeah. there was no. nothing so serious for momentarily also maybe mujhe 50000 rupees chahiye tumne 25 diye cannot be a hmm. frankly i mean i'm just trying to explain it that way uh, can't be a momentarily thing ki tumne mujhe bahut kuch kiya aur kuch nahi kiya pe itna gussa nahi hota does that does a tragedy of this enormous nature 
does it kind of define uh, your relationships in politics because you know uh, your your father was always surrounded by people he was always there um he was available for whoever wanted to meet him and things um and then comes this tragedy in your life do you i know you you say that you can't fit into his shoes but does that kind of always play on you that oh my god he went away like this now i've got to do what he what the life he led if i will keep thinking like this it will be a disaster for me and a failure for me i just take every day with i take every step thinking that let me make this better in coming times how do i make self look better i just don't want tomorrow people to say dekha hai pramod ki beti ekdam failure nikli mm, these are smaller things i work on and that drives me because my mother always used to say your father was a person in marathi they say ki jithe laath maar li the the pani le gaye jahan laath maar di wahan pani nikal denge and that kind of you know this uh, charismatic hero Hmm. my father was and still in anybody's heart you ask anybody in bjp or outside bjp and recently again his that lok sabha speech has been viral all yeah. over <laughs> so the younger generation also who are born after 90 won't be knowing what actually had happened and who pramod mahajan was hmm. it again has come in everybody's mind i think that makes me happy but what you are talking about yeah all uncles and aunts who i used to serve became gs and sirs hmm so it takes a little time for me to understand that transition mm. and it takes very few people's maturity to accept me in that transition if i put it in a right way so i did make mistakes and i did face lot of difficulties with those mistakes bane in marathi is very are ture bane very a aap nahi hota yeah <laughs> so are kaka ala aa gaya kaka aa gaya ye aa gaya so they were all those people at home because my father used to have all पदाधिकारी बैठक्स एवरी थिंग इन माई हाउस आई गॉट मैरिड एट ट्वेंटी वन सो मिसिंग पूनम वॉज हिज फेवरेट एजेंडा एंड हैविंग मीटिंग्स इन अ हाउस वॉज हिज डबल फेवरेट एजेंडा सो आई कुड सी एवरीबडी ऑल द टाइम गोइंग फॉर स्पीचेस प्लीज टेक मी बाबा सो माई मदर विल सिट डाउन वेर ऑल द पीपल आर सिटिंग पूनम आई है तो मेरे साथ पीछे ऊपर बैठेगी सो मे बी अनकॉन्शियसली वॉज प्रॉब्लम होल्डिंग आई डोंट नो डोंट नो आई दी अदर डे आई मेट i was not ready but mm. uh the other day i met um, one very senior journalist uh, she told me once i had asked pramod ji in 2001 a question that what do you think who will take uh, you know mm. your name forward he said rahul is very active he will but mera shravan bal poonam hai mm. shravan bal so that uh, i think that she told me when i joined politics mm. so, then i said are baap re karna hi padega i cannot yeah so you were it in 2016 uh, when you got that constituency it was a congress ka gad 14 yes yeah, 2014 yes. so uh, when you got in into that uh, were you set up to lose there were many <laughs> in the party reg you know uh, who thought oh now that uh, pramod ji is gone they many thought oh okay you know we have an entry because when he was there he was such a colossal figure that it was very difficult uh, to dislodge him because he was everything out you know in maharashtra and in the center he was without pramod mahajan they literally had nobody to mastermind an election for them uh, the bjp for you guys i, I shouldn't say them <laughs> for the bjp okay. <laughs> <laughs> i meant the bjp so you know there are many who thought okay uh, but then when they saw that it's uh, pramod mahajan's daughter so there was this talk at that time i remember that set her up for a failure because we can't have her getting in at that time did you sense that or was it just political gossip i didn't know about this because uh, and i'm happy to hear this mm-hmm. it gives me more uh, you know strength to fight it more it's good competition also healthy um this seat nobody was fighting frankly i yeah. met a lot of big leaders later on coming in bjp uh, from bollywood and certain uh, known places pulis they said hum ladna nahi chahte the tum ladke jeet gaye maine dekhi hai aapka loss mera gain hmm. maybe it's uh, i believe uh, in myself i actually wanted to hmm. see being my father's daughter people hmm. always push you to dynasty but i did not get his space or his constituency hmm. i started and paved my own way 
so that constituency was considered as a very difficult yeah congress guard uh, difficult constituency and i wanted the northeast constituency it was a known fact that my father and uh, the mp who was from there kiriji had lost so logically it was not against and logically i wanted to contest from there because i knew the place born mm. and brought up there it didn't work out mm. maybe they did the survey you don't know it didn't work out then uh, i said i'm ready to contest this also just trust me because being in uh, youth wing since 2007 hmm. i knew each and every constituency my job is always to study to know and more and i said this constituency of bjp last time we lost it by a lakh and a half vote because you need a marathi face for this constituency always we have uh, a Hin- marathi speaking but non marathi hmm. mp contesting in mumbai many times so give me this opportunity my marathi because a typical marathi mulgi it will help modi ji is trust me modi ji will sweep this seat hmm. so people said kuch bhi ho lekin ye seat nahi jayegi aise ab trust me people and their belief and i could you know my i believe in calculations and then of course my sixth sense and my belief nobody believed that that for sure hmm. uh, nobody believe many people said tum apna career khatam karne ke liye yahan se lad rahi ho maine jo hoga so hoga khatam to khatam karenge zarur and uh, so the here, bollywood might the glamour against you uh, is it no. i don't know they are very uh, few in numbers hmm. few in numbers if you see the constituency when you land the entire area around the airport bandra is pavai it's not so bandra west there are certain places which have certain bollywood uh, who's who i don't know how many come out to vote hmm. because Uh, I have not seen many people coming out to vote, but now, of course, a lot of people have understood that democracy is important, voting is important. But that's not only the constituency mm. in Bandra. There are a lot of other ALMs, certain people who have been working for so much. So, you know, upper se dekhte wat alag lagta hai jab niche zamini hakikat alag hai. So tell me, um, you know, uh, there's a lot of talk that uh, that what has happened in recent past, like. Uh, Uh, the the shiv sena breaking <coughs> up uh, the whole coup that happened everybody being taken to assam and then this happens there was supposed to be this tsunami of people who would come over from udhav sena into the shinde sena that your uh, that your coalition will become stronger that but that doesn't seem to have happened why is that so the history of uh, shiv sena and bharatiya janata party's uh, alliance i've seen it very closely and um, from 1989's india fine arts big program where bal thakre bada saheb thakre was there and uh, we started working towards how uh, we will fight together till uh, bada saheb and my father's nok chok um mm. uh, you know many a times he'll say pramod this is not good and i still remember i have a lot of love towards bada saheb thakre when my father was in the hospital bada saheb came the last day doctor said it's not going to be possible for him uh he came in and he just my father was in coma he told him pramod ut that you know that kind of connection was the alliance at mm-hmm. that time later on after my uh, father's demise um, alliance also had its own other permutation combination other leadership connecting with each other so it was not the same alliance which had no choke hmm. serious fights and it was completely different and the new alliance you're talking about i think uh, we are working together hmm. and um, it looks fairly good okay so um there was the slogan of you know in the center narendra and in the state devendra now that keeps coming up in the bjp state unit obviously it's not a very happy situation for a sitting chief minister to be told that his alliance partner obviously a larger partner in this even though the numbers and whatever you might say in the state uh, but in the whole bigger focus it is a larger partner so it's not a very comfortable situation to know that your alliance partner wants somebody else as chief minister see on a larger prospect when you look at maharashtra's politics um how the alliances are made and suddenly everything the group got together just to oppose a leader narendra modi 
purposely and this this is not only a story of maharashtra this started from maharashtra to get everyone together in india to create an alliance just because they don't have their own power so this was the basic foundation started from maharashtra mm. uh what happened with bjp and this shinde alliance uh, bala saheb anchi shiv sena alliance mm. um kuch kabhi kabhi kuch paane ke liye kuch khona padta hai in a way devendra ji himself mm. supported this decision because the message which we wanted to give to polity was very important mm. to show that democratically select uh, elected government suddenly alliance is broken because you wanted certain things now what has happened in a room again that discussion comes out but then the government also with your non ideological friends with our not ideological friends your father wouldn't have approved this is how uddhav ji went forward with and there was nothing happening in two and a half years when they were in power so the message was very important when you say nothing was happening what do you mean um in state of maharashtra uh it was <laughs> the three party government was actually trying to survive uh, on each other and certain aspects where they were letting go each others even ideological differences yeah to hold on to their financial mm. uh, agreements that was the only thing i could look forward to financial agreements <laughs> yeah because i could not see a single project which mm. i was part of cm's war room with when devendra ji was the cm i was the only mp who was part of that war room with all the officers i have been part of making metro nagpur samriddhi mahamarg i've learned from it i was fortunate enough to be part of it and when you see suddenly you don't want to work on the aspects which actually would have taken maharashtra forward infrastructure bases and people health infrastructure and healthcare and everything was about politics with each other and divided properties to each other mumbai meri nagpur tumhara andhra pradesh idhar matlab just divided properties mein dispute jo chal rahi thi bhaiyon ki jamti to nahi thi hmm. but disputed property tum tumhara ye wo kadwada rakh lo tum utna rakh so cut ah. politics was going on and i'm been very open about it um, and we have seen it in mumbai for past many years so for that to give a right message and even look at mr shinde hmm. um i think this must have happened when uh, uh, mr chandra babu naidu when he broke the party and came out from his father in law's shadow and lot of people supported him i think after that i don't think such a big bhukamp of uh, political party we must have ever seen hmm. and uh, it was a right message to give and mm. which that message should have been respected and i think our uh, uh, leadership gave a right message where and now the cm and dcm are working together very well uh, taking every uh, infra project together divided work taking things forward which is very important for us right now you said you were part of the war room so uh, you know i had uh, uh, priyanka chaturvedi also on this uh, uh, podcast she says that Uh, for certain there was a promise made to udhav thakre that he would be chief minister you were part of the war room what do you more of a infrastructural war room not a political war okay. room okay <laughs> <laughs> and that war room there are only few people see even uh, the press conference she's talking about i was there i was the youth wing president my boss that time was amit shah i worked under him for 4 years and uh, we could not see anything which was I don't know what happened in behind doors, but I know what Amit Bai will come out and say is hundred percent true. Hmm. He doesn't have to hide behind the bushes and say, "Nay, many kahi nay." If that discussion would have happened, you could see on the faces of those leaders, or in that press conference, or afterward as a murmur that "ye pehli promise hua tha." Hmm. Nothing happened. Suddenly, after two thousand nineteen election, there was a. You just wanted to create a certain drama to get more maybe out of certain hmm. thing. or taking certain things forward <laughs> you cannot say something which has not happened you know koi cheez hone wali hoti hai us pe discussion bhi hota hai yeah. before the press conference you would have known maybe your reporters would have known you know andar ye baat hui hai aur bahar ye abhi aise keh rahe i don't think even there was a little bit of gossip about this that something else happened inside and amit bhai promised something which is not coming out so it is only one man saying it not But even, even uh, abhi bhi jab who's the second man supporting this so, it's family member only yeah. supporting that dialogue so i don't know what to say about it and you do take on both of them don't you <laughs> 
Yeah, politically, yes, politically. I have lot of respect for them because you've known them also since childhood. Yeah, yeah, very much, very much. Uh, we share lot of good interest also together, not political, mm. but uh, with Udhav ji, yes, yes, we used to, yeah. Uh, but when it comes to political ideology, not it's at all, all fair. Uh, it's all fair because mm. they always did that. I had my experiences also. when we were in alliance so there were a lot of immature dis- decisions also in the family they take it hmm. which is not correct but now here we are and hmm. there they are okay so this um said unsaid wali jo baat hoti hai na politics mein ye baat tab bhi chali thi jab assam mein you know this whole thing was happening ki sarkar girane wale hain aur apni sarkar banegi ki kaun banega chief minister shinde ji aur fadnavis and till the last moment the talk in the media was who 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 and even now uh, so far as a couple of weeks ago you know fadnavis ji said that koi mujhe bhej nahi sakta center mein because as usual the gossip again is when is there going to be a reshuffle is fadnavis <laughs> going to go to center what is going to happen but you know the gossip right now especially in this government and dispensation jo aap bolte ho wo thodi hota <laughs> that's why i'm asking you now <laughs> i'm not saying mujhe kuch nahi pata i wish mujhe pata hota aur तो भी नहीं बताती लेकिन योर ट्रेनिंग अंडर अमित शाह बीन परफेक्ट इज इंटर आई विश आई कुड बी ट्रेन मोर अंडर हिम बिकॉज ही इज वन ऑफ द पर्सन आई लुक अप टू लर्न टू लॉट एंड ही गेम यू फ्रीडम आई मीन आई डोंट रिमेम्बर अमित भाई सेट पूनम ये करना है वो करना है ठीक है करो गलतियाँ होंगी तो माफ़ी भी मिलेगी बट करो दैट एटीट्यूड ही हैज एंड मे बी I can see Ansh of my father and few people. He is one of them. Hmm. A certain way of uh, the mathematics and politics. Where is the right? Uh, you know, कहाँ कौन सा मुद्दा बहुत जरूरी होता है that he do. But uh, coming back to your question, अभी कौन होगा कौन नहीं होगा जरूरी नहीं था. I think that decision is very respectfully was taken by both the parties, BJP and Bala Saheb and Chief Shiv Sena, the Shinde Alliance. and uh, i don't think there is any uncomfortable uh, air anywhere hmm. and once what our party and party leaders tell us i think that's what we follow okay so uh, you know recently udhav ji said that uh, pankaja munde is welcome into our party uh, for those who wouldn't know much about uh, maharashtra politics she's your cousin yes. and uh, many feel that uh, she has felt or she hasn't said anything but they feel that she probably got a raw deal uh, after her father passed away your uncle i don't think so and she will also not uh, support this because she was the most important minister in uh, devendra fadnavis government and she worked hard for it yes unfortunately she lost her election uh, and when you lose an election because i have lost an election those five years are very difficult hmm. uh, because you have to regain that first of all faith in yourself how did that happen and then you have to correct your mistakes and certain ways to take things forward mm. in that time um, no problem with even media i mean i don't have any problem with that but they have to also chal out their 24/7 channels mm. and so many channels are there in every medium marathi in other languages also Sh- you need some kind of story sometimes you say something and it just comes out little more what people think actually what the person has said Uh, now Uddhav ji wants to welcome anyone does not mean anybody wants to go to him hmm. but uh, yeah because sanjay raut also said that neither uh, punam mahajan nor pankaja munde have got their due considering that it was their fathers both their fathers who set up uh, bjp and uh, in 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 maharashtra they are the founders of uh bjp's footprint so the two daughters haven't got their share it's not a private limited company ki mere pitaji mere baap ki party mein usko chalao har people se na tum jante ho mera baap kaun hai ye aise thodi hai unki private limited party hai jo wo ek parivar thakre to thakre to thakre to thakre kar sakte hain aur fir unke darbari jo hote hain jo unki ek style hai jo bhartiya janta party mein aise kuch nahi hai i mean i don't understand uh, i was fortunate enough to win लोक सभा ट्वाइस आई बिकेम द नेशनल यूथ विंग प्रेसिडेंट वो मेरे लिए बहुत बड़ी बात है बिकॉज महाराष्ट्र से सिर्फ प्रमोद महाजन ही यूथ विंग प्रेसिडेंट बने थे 1986 में यूथ विंग प्रेसिडेंट भाजपा में कौन बनाए राजनाथ सिंह हमारे अभी के अध्यक्ष नड्डा जी धर्मेंद्र प्रधान शिवराज सिंह चौहान जब ऐसे लोग यूथ विंग प्रेसिडेंट भारतीय जनता पार्टी के एक युवा प्रतिनिधि बनते हैं एंड आई बिकम आई गेट दैट अपॉर्चुनिटी 
दैट मीन्स पार्टी इज डूइंग नथिंग फॉर मी अभी क्या है संजय जी रिस्पेक्टफुली उनको रोज़ के लिए कुछ ना कुछ कंटेंट लगता है तो कभी किसी नाम का भी कंटेंट चले तो और ज़्यादा वो लंबी न्यूज़ चली जाती है जैसे मैंने आपको कहा ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन में उनके कंटेंट पे कौन ध्यान देगा ओके भाई भतीजावाद दिस होल थिंग अबाउट नेपोटिज्म इट्स अ बिग थिंग यू नो फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम आपकी पार्टी हैज़ ऑलवेज सेट कि हम लोग भाई भतीजेवाद में विश्वास नहीं करते लेकिन जब बात चलती है वसुंधरा की या बात चलती है पूनम महाजन की या सो मैनी ऑफ द अदर्स इवन नाउ सिंधिया ऑल्सो हैज़ जॉइंट योर पार्टी नाउ लेटेस्ट इज मनप्रीत बादल इज ऑल्सो देर नाउ दीज आर ऑल पोलिटिकल फैमिलीज यू कैन हेल्प इट सो डज इट मेक दिस होल भाई भतीजेवाद एलिगेशन विच इज़ द बीजेपी मेक्स दे हैव टू गो ऑन द बैक फुट डू यू थिंक दैट अब वो भी नहीं कह सकते नहीं बिल्कुल नहीं।, नहीं कौन सा बैकफुट कोई बैकफुट नहीं है फिर से एक बार लेट मी एक्सप्लेन माय केस द नेपो किड नेपो इन द वोक लैंग्वेज व्हिच इज बीन कॉल्ड बाय ऑल द यंगस्टर्स दे कॉल यू दैट not many but they call many people like that i'm just trying to be cooler being a mumbai mp okay. <laughs> so that's what they use it in their twitter slang hmm. the now dynasty sounds very kisi ki rajwade mein leke chale the nepo kit sounds pr- pretty cool jo kuch hai if it comes to me first first of all after my father's demise i did not got into a rajya sabha which he left huh. or i did not become a national general secretary because he was there i started as a yuva morcha maharashtra mahamantri where i started my work then became national vice president after 3 years handled tamil nadu karnataka these states were given to me where bjp was just rising with youth specially hmm. and then i became uh, a, a national secretary then member of parliament then yuva morcha adhyaksh it was not so quick for me एंड आई डोंट थिंक इन बीजेपी हाँ क्या होता है कहीं किसी का डिमाइस हो वहाँ के सिटिंग एम पी हो एम एल ए हो देर फैमिली गेट वन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स बिकॉज दैट्स इवन माई फादर हैड सेट अप दैट रोल विच इज़ नॉट रॉन्ग डज नॉट मीन दे गेट एवरी थिंग वो दैट मैन हैड ओवर द वुमेन हो दे लॉस्ट और इवन वेन यू टॉक अबाउट वसुंधरा जी इट वॉज हर कंस्टिट्यूंसी विच इज गिवन इट टू हर सन टू मोर इफ यू डू अ सर्वे हर सन if he is not winnable tomorrow maybe someone else will get it tomorrow poonam is not winnable someone else but because a person is someone's son or someone's daughter they are not holding that position hmm. that's what i'm trying to say parivaron ka swagat hai parivar vaad nahi karna hai hame i mean it's not about again i'm saying private limited company when the congress president's son uh, says that hamare parivar ka vichar परिवार पार्टी का विचार होता है ना परिवार का विचार कैसे होता है आप मतलब ये सब परिवारवादी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनियों के सामने भारतीय जनता पार्टी देखिए हम विचार परिवार भारतीय जनता पार्टी मैंने टॉक अबाउट द पार्टी वी ऑलवेज टॉक अबाउट विचार परिवार व्हाट इज़ विचार परिवार संघ परिवार होता है विचारधारा होती है वी ऑल आर टूगेदर सो गेटिंग सम टू विन विनेबिलिटी ऑफ इलेक्शन इज आई थिंक एक्सेप्टेड I and I start with my own example. Yeah. So and I try to say it. I'm not the nepokid you're talking about, <laughs> which you can see it in Shiv Sena, uh, maybe any other southern parties uh, and in Congress. So when you uh, yeah you in fact even in your parliamentary speeches uh, you keep saying that you know you accuse the Congress that you you don't really talk about women's issues. You're only talking about a certain woman. Yeah. And her. Standing behind her. Yeah. Yes, I do very straight with respect uh-huh. to that. Uh, Uh, sonia ji i mean i openly say it uh, with mm. due respect but uh, they also aap uh, bataiye na congress mein who are the women who have done well in congress very few and uh, they compare it to bjp i find it uh, quite laughable because mm. if tomorrow mrs gandhi says that uh, i would not be working titar bitar ho jayegi congress and phir uh, bete ke haath mein dekhenge to aur to toot hi jayegi lekin mm. this is what that parivarwad is going on i mm. mean इन फैक्ट परिवार वॉट दे आर से राहुल गांधी सिंह तो मैंने तो राहुल को मार दिया सो देर इज़ नो परिवार देर इज़ नो अहम देर इज़ नो मी इट्स इट्स सेवा नहीं बात अच्छी है और एक सेवा करिए गांधी नाम भी हटा दीजिए और राहुल शर्मा को राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष को ही बना दीजिए आने वाले समय में आने वाले समय में कहिए जब मैं यात्रा में चलूँगा तो यहाँ पे जीजा जी नहीं रहेंगे बहन जी नहीं रहेंगी बहन जी का डॉगी नहीं रहेगा भतीजा जी भांजी जी नहीं रहेंगे कहिए ना सी हम भी अपने पिताजी की कोई बड़ी सभा होती थी क्योंकि अटल जी को देखना है अडवाणी जी को देखना था हर किसी जैसे हम भी होते थे हम वहाँ पे जाके बैठा नहीं करते थे ना कि 
साइड में रहो हम खड़े रहेंगे ये जो इसको तो परिवार की बात कहते हैं यही परिवार के विचार अभी ये सब बेतु की बातें दे ही ऑलवेज गोस ऑन विथ गॉड ब्लेस हिम आई मीन समटाइम्स पोलिटिकली आई डोंट नो हाउ मच टू स्टे से टू अ सर्टन पर्सन तैयारी करके आया करो यार आई मीन वी रियली वर्क हार्ड हम लोग रोज़ बहुत काम करते हैं हमारी कंस्टिट्यूंसी संभालते हैं पार्टी का काम करते हैं बूथ बूथ तक जाते हैं जनता के इतने सवाल होते हैं ये आप चलते जा रहे हो चलते जा रहे हो इज़ दैट इज़ गोइंग टू सॉल्व जनता का चलो आई मीन दैट्स गुड वन थिंग आई कैन सी इज फिट फिजिकली बट इट्स ऑल्सो रिवाइव द कांग्रेस टू सम एक्सटेंड ना मतलब कि कांग्रेस खत्म सी हो गई थी कोई बात ही नहीं कर रहा था कांग्रेस के बारे में अब लाइक एटलीस्ट सुबह सुबह उठ के निकलते तो हैं लोगों से मिलते तो हैं दैट्स वट एम सींग फिजिकली फिट मेंटली ये फिटनेस कितनी चलेगी पार्टी की इसके बाद देखा जाएगा hmm. क्योंकि हर रोज आप बहुत अच्छा चलते हो जनता जुड़ती है अच्छी बात है लेकिन जब आप माइक के सामने आते हो तो फिर वो सारा उसका कोई अर्थ नहीं रहता दैट्स वॉट आई फील बिकॉज वी सी इन द सेम ही इज टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड टू अस ना वो अभी भी युवा है <laughs> और उनको हर चीज़ माफ़ है मुझे तो नहीं है मेरे साथ बहुत सारे लोग काम करते हैं उनको नहीं है और होनी भी नहीं चाहिए बिकॉज वी टेक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ पीपल ऑफ दिस नेशन आप तो घूमते जा रहे हो एंड वेन देर इज़ पार्लियामेंट गोइंग ऑन आपको लोग चुन के क्यों देते हैं पॉलिसीज में यू हैव टू बी पार्ट ऑफ इट तभी आपको क्यों यात्रा निकालनी थी देर वॉज अ ब्रेक यू शुड हैव डन दैट देर आर लॉड ऑफ थिंग्स इंटेलेक्चुअली इट इरीटेट्स मी एंड इट डज नॉट इरीटेट मी इरीटेट्स नॉर्मल जनता ऑल्सो कि क्या बोले तो आपकी कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी में आई मीन देर आर देर इज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग कांग्रेस बेल्ट ऑल्सो इन योर सो यू स्पीक विद पीपल इन योर कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी आर दे हाउ आर द कांग्रेस लॉयल कांग्रेस पीपल रिएक्टिंग एंड हाउ आर पीपल रिएक्टिंग इन योर कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी अबाउट भारत छोड़ो भारत जोड़ो आई आई हैवन सीन द लीडर्स ऑफ माई कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसी गोइंग एंड ज्वाइनिंग भारत जोड़ो दैट्स पॉइंट नंबर वन पॉइंट नंबर टू कांग्रेस कांग्रेस है लेकिन वो किसी की थोड़ी बची ऊँची कांग्रेस है इफ यू स्टी सी द स्टेट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र ये जो कांग्रेस के चुने हुए कुछ एम एल ए हैं दे हैव देयर ओन स्टेटस देयर दैट्स वाई दे आर विनिंग देन यू कॉल देम एज अ कांग्रेस वोट और कॉल ए वोट और बी पर्सन वोट सी पर्सन वोट इट डजेंट मैटर बट आई डोंट सी कांग्रेस एज कलेक्टर आप कांग्रेस का अध्यक्ष कौन बनाते हैं जो पार्टी में अभी भी आए हैं और फिर उनके खिलाफ लेटरबाजी भी होती है कांग्रेस इट सेल्फ हैज सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम इन दिस स्टेट इन इट्स क्वाइट पथेटिक एज टू वॉट द कांग्रेस हैज बिकम इट्स लिटरली सीडेड स्पेस कम्प्लीटली टू द एन सी पी और आई थिंक हाउ द एन सी पी एक्चुअली इज ट्राइंग टू ड्राइव टू पार्टीज राइट नाउ हाउ लॉन्ग दैट विल गो बिकॉज एन सी पी इट सेल्फ हैज इट्स ओन लीडरशिप इशूज सो अगेन भाई भतीजा भतीजीवाद इवन एन सी पी सी सेट एंड नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू टॉक अबाउट इट बिकॉज राइट नाउ दैट्स द मदरशिप हुज हैंडलिंग दीज लिटल शिप्स अंतराल में उनको संभालने के लिए मदरशिप बैठी हुई है सो दे आर ट्राइंग टू बैलेंस कांग्रेस इन सो वॉट आर द बिग इशूज टेल मी दैट महाराष्ट्र विल नीड टू बी यू नो विल नीड टू फोकस इन Uh, in 2024 as the state goes closer to the national elections first that and the state elections what are the major issues because you know uh, rest of the country thinks that are maharashtra like you know it's a rich place then why farmer suicides you have huge uh, resources you have everything going for you then why do you have people killing themselves see uh, maharashtra the problem is right now what we look at maharashtra in political circumstances and fighting with each other that's not the maharashtra we want to show to people 2014 to 2019 when bjp and shiv sena were in government we had our chief minister we worked on policies and maharashtra people have to look maharashtra beyond mumbai there is a mumbai metropolitan region which has 10 mps Mumbai plus Kalyan Domboli and on that area and Thane, and there is again Maharashtra which has Nagpur, Marathwada which is a dry dead state where mm. I come from, uh, Vidarbha, the entire Vidarbha, uh, Uttar Maharashtra, mm. Pashchim Maharashtra and Konkan. So Maharashtra is divided into this, and we have of course very good resources. We want to make Maharashtra as a fastest growing economy, and we were doing that by 2019. In just those two and a half years from 2019 re- till recently last year by June. Everything was divided into again. I'm saying, 
their own regions and their own properties which they can earn from hmm. what we want to look forward to again jo hamara kaam chhoot gaya tha 2019 mein do it was about infrastructure of maharashtra connectivity of maharashtra farmers policies uh, one very good uh, idea maharashtra government had done that har kisi farmer ke ghar ke piche pani hoga Hmm. the connectivity of water farmers and policies hmm. reaching out to farmers the problem is these cooperative banks which were held hmm. by still held by many congress and ncp leaders it was actually not reaching down to people hmm. the farmers who actually contribute in maharashtra we want to get back to the same maharashtra which we were working on from 2014 to 19 where we had the largest uh, jatiya morchas by supported uh, few political parties but इतनी शांति से होता था द कम्युनिकेशन वॉज गुड कॉर्डिनेशन वॉज गुड एवरी थिंग दे ट्राई टू स्टर अप बट महाराष्ट्र वॉज टेकिंग इट्स यू नो ड्राइविंग इट्स फॉर्स विद दैट मेकिंग महाराष्ट्र एज अ स्ट्रॉगर स्टेट मुंबई ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ जी डी पी महाराष्ट्र कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट्स इन इंडिया सो हाउ डज महाराष्ट्र टेक दिस फॉरवर्ड एंड फार्मर्स पॉलिसीज वर not actually implemented in past two and a half years yeah we saw covid we understand that mm. but because of covid i don't think any policies uh, were stopped we still have 80 crore people getting anaj at their houses mm. so it was more political we could see in maharashtra in two and a half years which pushed back maharashtra for many many years again but now suddenly since we are back in power mm. metros are getting ready mumbai nagpur samruddhi marg is ready infrastructure projects are ready building hospitals health infrastructure uh, working for farmers whatever due was there for past two and a half years for farmers have been paid hmm. so i think that growth hmm. we want to take this forward in a very faster pace and people in maharashtra are intellectual we always call it santo ki bhumi hai uh, sahitya ki bhumi hai we have so many fabulous writers coming from here uh, yahan ka sahitya bahut bada jata hai so that maharashtra again has to come together which was divided by political ideology by certain parties so you think that maharashtrians by and large see a larger perspective they do they do they and when we talk to people ki 2019 ke baad jab unki sarkar hui everybody used to ask me ye kya ho raha hai kab jayenge Hmm. Now that attitude that ये कब बंद होगा आप लोग कब वापस आओगे and it's not only some कार्य करता of mine hmm. you talk to anyone कभी आप plane में बैठ के किसी से बात हुई कभी किधर चलते चलते coffee shop में कोई मिल गया so that विश्वास that belief people hmm. have it in Modi ji and in even in बी जे पी इन महाराष्ट्र एंड दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई थिंक वी आर डूइंग समथिंग राइट पूनम जी यू नो बी जे पी इज सेट टू थ्राइव ओनली वेन दे आर ऑन दे ओन as a coalition partner it and as you know as a junior partner simply because you know your person is a deputy chief minister so do aap automatically junior partner ban jate ho it it sits sits a little uneasy so aap you will go into 2024 with a partnership only i don't think i should be saying anything about this right now but uh, i remember 1995 to 1999 when we had shiv sena bjp coalition government shiv sena had their cm or hamare dcm the but they were two stronger leader who did not let things you mm. know there was a balance uh, gopinath munde as the home minister and deputy chief minister was a bigger leader so it was bala saheb and pramod ji used to coordinate things were not uneasy of course shiv sena has a style of you know thoda ghar mein jaise uh, ऐसे बोलूंगी तो उसका ये हो जाएगा लेकिन कभी भी घर में फूई चिड़ जाती तो कुछ बोल देती लेकिन शादी में खुश रहती है दैट एटीट्यूड दैट थोड़ी रोटी हुई वेरी नाइस या आई डोंट नो हाउ टू पुट इट फॉरवर्ड दैट शिव सेना ऑलवेज हैड बट बड़ा दिल रख के वी इज टू बैलेंस इट आउट वॉट हैपन वॉज आफ्टर बाला साहब दैट सेम मेचोरिटी एंड दैट यू नो बैलेंसिंग एटीट्यूड थोड़ा कम होते गया आई एम नॉट सिंग नहीं था but just went down and then then miscommunication started and of course then we realized miscommunication nahi tha ye to kuch aur hi idea thi inki so in coming times i completely believe i still remember in 2004 elections same thing happened bala saab was not taking many decisions it was uh, um, udhav ji and raj saab raj Sa- raj thakre were handling certain elections at that time also it little bit irritated my father that they not the same हाउ इट शुड बी गोइंग एंड ही सेट पता नहीं हम कितने समय साथ में रहेंगे दैट वॉज माई फादर्स लाइन सो ऑफकोर्स बीजेपी ऑलवेज सेट शत प्रतिशत भाजपा विद माई फादर 
plan this alliance with Shiv Sena does not mean that BJP always wanted an alliance. Mm. So BJP, when they are alone, they do well. But we take care of our alliance partners also. What happens in 2024 right now for us is Mumbai election very important. Coming uh, first Nagar Palika elections after that bigger corporation elections, where we know we'll do well. Mm. But taking the promises of people forward. And again, working on a hat-trick for Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi, because that's a leadership right now, India, and especially in the world, we need it. Yeah, so um, even in Karnataka, uh, the party is going to go in with Modi as the face. Uh, and even in the nine uh, states which are uh, yes. going to polls, it's going to be, uh, he, he's going to be leading the campaign and the agenda as such. Um in Maharashtra, in, in these uh, smaller elections, which are like the semi-finals, quarter-finals to 2024, it's going to be Modi ji's face? See, uh, or Fadnavis's ji? So the very important thing is, Bhajpa mein, when Atal ji was the Prime Minister, we used to push Atal ji's face as a main face hmm. for every election. Hmm. And we had uh, state leaders who could uh, take the agenda forward. So it's nothing new. Modi ji's popularity and his way of connecting with people is, I mean, aitihasik if I say historical, which everybody knows. Um, in every state election also, we have state faces. When Fadnavis ji was there and still here, of course, we'll be contesting our election under his leadership because, uh, and the state president of Maharashtra, which we always do it. So this quarterfinal, semifinal we still need our main leader. We are not saying Modi ji has to come down to fight for us. He is coming. <laughs> he is coming because there are such big projects. First time, uh, the old Victoria terminus, which became Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj terminus in the BJP government, is going to get a big facelift. Hmm. Mumbai cars who are suffering in those trains are getting more and more better. And that comes under railway ministry. So we want our prime minister to come and say, Ki ha, apne I don't know when you hai. will <laughs> have your traffic issues. Sorry, dhai saal mein kuch ho nahi paya. I apologize for the MBA government that they did not do anything. Okay. But now you'll see by 2024, you will have Metro 3. And then bullet train will connect. It will go forward. So because I know how it works when the BJP government is there. So... Uh -huh. Don't worry, you have traffic ki samasya bhi hum so jaldi hal kar <laughs> Okay, <laughs> okay. So I, let me come back to Parliament. You know, you were talking about how ke Parliament session mein hai or Rahul Gandhi hai nahi. He is going on. You have a very good attendance record. Uh, in 78%, 70 kuch aise percent hai. Haan. Haan, that's a very good record uh, of sorts. We have better ones again. Com <laughs> competitive ways. Achha, you're all competing with each other in Isn't the BJP. That na? That's haan. good. You're not competing with others. Uh, they other don't attend only. Unke saath kya competition kare jo 40 or 30 percent But they're ruling party mein kam karte hai. Nahi. I think um, haan. it's because when you have a boss who's actively involved in everything, 24-7 working. I go out of parliament from gate number 4. But there, Pradhan Mantri Ji's car is at 10 o'clock at night. So, I'm not if I'm... You know, this is very important. This teaches us, hmm. if we are tomorrow's leaders, and people are expecting you to perform well, this India of such a big population, being the world leader now, and in coming 25 years, when we celebrate 100 years of independence, we will be somewhere there. Hmm. So... We need to learn from yeah. the great. You know, Fadnavis ji, after, after the executive was over, the meeting was over, he came out and he said that the Prime Minister said that in the next few years, like you have to, you're in this position ki apna uh, kshan kshan is important and apne jeevan ka uh, kshan kshan and apne life ka uh, kan kan, apni body ka kan kan. Every bit of you has to work towards uh, you know, bringing this nation forward. I agree. So, uh, it's it's a big ask out of everybody that you have to set aside everything else and just work, isn't it's it? It's not a big ask for a BJP karikarta, frankly. Hum logo ne kya nahi dekha Hum logo ne... I remember my father was... I mean, I was not born at that time, but the stories I always hear my mother telling me, my father was in jail for 18 months in emergency in Nasik jail, where actually he learned how to give speeches, reading books. लेकिन तभी सारे घर में कुछ खाना पीना नहीं ऐसी हालात से हम कहाँ कहाँ बीजेपी का कार्य करता यहाँ तक पहुँचा प्रधानमंत्री जी always in his speech he 
ऑलवेज स्टिल सेज कि कितने लोगों ने अपनी पीढ़ियाँ खपाई हैं यहाँ तक पहुँचने के लिए सो फॉर अ बीजेपी पर्सन गिविंग देयर ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन हंड्रेड परसेंट आई डोंट थिंक इज टू मच टू आस्क वी आर बिल्ट लाइक दैट वी आर बिल्ट लाइक दैट आई डोंट नो आई मीन आई डोंट बिलीव दैट अदर पार्टीज हैव एवर डन दैट बहुत सारी चीज़ें उनको ऐसे में बहुत मिल गई भाजपा को बहुत संघर्ष करना पड़ा भाजपा का हर एक कार्यकर्ता को बहुत संघर्ष करना पड़ा तो फॉर आस इट्स नॉट आ आस्क इट्स मोर ऑफ एन एक्साइटमेंट यू नो लविंग योर कंट्री फाइटिंग फॉर योर कंट्री दैट नेशनलिज्म इफ वी डोंट हैव इट हाइपर नेशनलिज्म तो कोई आपसे मांग नहीं रहा है ना बट दिस एंटी नेशनलिज्म इज आल्सो नॉट एक्सेप्टेड दैट यू वांट टू बी जस्ट दिस आम चेयर लिबरल पर्सन सिटिंग एंड सेइंग ये क्या चल रहा है आज़ादी का अमृत महोत्सव यू शुड बी प्राउड ऑफ इट दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स इफ यू गो टू दोज लिबरल्स गो यूरोप और अमेरिका डिस्कस देयर हिस्ट्री एंड से वाह वाह देखो हमारे यहाँ तो कुछ नहीं है तो यही दुख की बात है तो भाजपा ही को कण कण और हर क्षण में हम काम करते हैं एंटी नेशनल लेबल बीजेपी इज वेरी क्विक टू लेबल अदर पीपल ना नो नो वी आर नॉट लेबलिंग एनी वन इट्स नॉट आर जॉब बट आई डू कॉल अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल देर इज अ लेफ्ट नेरेटिव विच ऑफकोर्स मेनी ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स विच आर नॉट वेरी इन द मेन धारा ऑफ द कंट्री सो समटाइम्स वी हैव इशूज वाई विल आई कॉल दम एंटी नेशनल I'm just saying hyper nationalism and hyper anti nationalism is not even correct. in the Bombay film industry. If you notice that people, uh, the Bombay film industry is now saying that this this whole thing has it's originated politically and then it became mainstream. Where if you bring anything which is mildly controversial or something, it becomes highly sensitive or immediately anti national. का label लगा देते हैं. ये तो वो मैं नहीं लगा रही हूँ ना. I mean now it's a free world where you have social media. now there are many you also face i also face faceless nameless uh, amazing uh, people who like to question you all the time i have no idea why but film industry is saying the bollywood so called hindi sorry indian film industry that we are labeling them i don't think so i mean all of them you know kood kood ke pradhan mantri ji ke sath selfie lete hain khush hote hain milte waqt mujhe nahi lagta del question bharat but i believe it was even discussed uh, like the prime minister also said ki bekar ki baaton mein ulaj rahe hain kuch log uh, filmon ke bare mein comment and what he said i really supported it i clap for it yeah. i said that yeah see uh, ek kahin na kahin kisi na kisi baat ki seema honi chahiye mera mujhe kaam lot of people talk about vulgarity in a certain discussion i say i understand ki vulgarity nudity sari cheezon ke liye kanoon banaye hue hain society ka kanoon hona chahiye humne kaise act karna chahiye how how do we behave how do we act what should we what is our responsibility towards the society in such but you cannot be every time freedom of expression ke naam pe आप कुछ भी अपने हिसाब से बोल जाओ कोई और किसी भी आई आई डोंट बिलीव इन दैट हाउ डू वी टेक दिस नेशन फॉरवर्ड दैट द प्रॉब्लम इज पीपल हैव ओपिनियन ऑन एवरी थिंग समटाइम्स हम पीपल आस्मी वट यू थिंक अबाउट सर्टन थिंग आई सेड आई डोंट नो एनी थिंग अबाउट इट वाई शुड आई टॉक अबाउट इट सो दिस दैट्स फॉर अ यंग पॉलिटिशन नॉट वेरी maybe i'm an old soul <laughs> that's why <laughs> but you did speak with jabo farmers ka ho ya you immediately said ki ye urban naxal hai ha wo maine naam maine rakha anti national maine nahi rakha urban naxal maine rakha and i'm proudly say it <laughs> and us urban naxal maine bahut strongly naam rakha kyunki i have seen it very close friends of mine also creating this narrative they still good friends of mine but narrative pe chhod deni unko main kyun kaise see it's even among journalists this divisions occur पर देर वॉज अ टाइम के डिविजन्स होते थे पर फिर भी फ्रेंडशिप्स होती थी लेकिन बहुत अच्छी अब तो बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग हो गई अप टू आस हाउ डू वी टेक इट सी आई डोंट बिलीव सी मे बी आई ट्राई टू बैलेंस द येस्टडेज स्टाइल ऑफ वर्किंग टूडे स्टाइल ऑफ वर्किंग वेर विदाउट सोशल मीडिया हाउ पीपल यूज टू कम्युनिकेट एंड कल मतलब मैं कोई उर्दू की चार पंक्तियाँ बोल दूँ तो मैं कुछ मुझे उसको कोई लेबल लगाने की जरूरत नहीं ना वो मैं उस हिसाब से कह रही हूँ आई डोंट केयर इफ़ पीपल क्वेश्चन में तुम ऐसी हो तुम वैसी हो जब ये सोचने लग जाऊँगी ना मैं hmm. तो दिक्कत हो जाएगी लेकिन मैं अपनी लिमिट और सीमा भी जानती हूँ सो यू हैव टू डिसाइड वेर नाउ अर्बन नक्सल आई कॉल दम बट आई मीट दोज फ्रेंड्स दे आर माई वेरी गुड फ्रेंड्स दिस समटाइम्स इट सेट ऑन माई फेस योर पार्टी इज दिस आई सी या योर आइडिया इज दिस दिस इज नॉट गुड देर इज लॉट ऑफ गुड पुलिंग लेग जो पहले भी होता था 
अब ये डिवीजन में हमारी भी जिम्मेदारी है कि इस डिवीजन को हम कितना उस क्या कहते हैं ना बढ़ाएं दरार को बढ़ाएं या उसको हाँ या उसको साथ में रखें अप टू आस आल्सो प्रॉब्लम इज आजकल वो शीपिश मेंटेलिटी भी बहुत होती जा रही है क्योंकि एक ट्रेंड ट्विटर पे चल गया सब वहीं भागते रहते हैं दूसरा ट्रेंड चल गया वहाँ चला जाता है सो वी आर जस्ट फॉलोइंग अ सर्टन वे हम थोड़ी देर दो मिनट बैठ के ये भी नहीं सोचते कि ये हो क्या रहा था और मैं इसके बारे में क्या सोचती हूँ या सोचता हूँ आई थिंक नाउ दिस हाइपर ए डी एच डी जनरेशन दैट्स वाई आई कीप कामर टू टेल दैम हाँ भाषणों में जहाँ बोलना है वहाँ पर आई एम मोर अग्रेसिव बट आई रियलाइज इफ आई बिकम अग्रेसिव ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन ये होना चाहिए वो होना चाहिए दिस इज वॉट पीपल विल इवन फॉलो सो यू हैव चिल्ड्रेन हु आर यंग जनरेशन एंड नाइन या आई एम लर्निंग फ्रॉम दुख या जेन जी हो गए ना एटीन में हाँ आई एम जन जेन यस दे जेन जीज है ना कुछ ऐसे ही ना या दीज जीज सो डू दे टेल यू मॉम डोंट सी दिस मॉम से नॉट एट ऑल दे फाइंड मी प्रोटी कूल आई एम अ कूल मदर एक्चुअली दे चिल्ड्रेन एंड देर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो फाइंड मी वेरी कूल अच्छा सो वो एरिया मैंने बहुत अच्छा से संभाल के रखा है बिकॉज आई नो माई सन इज माई वोटर नाउ ही इज एटीन नाउ ओ गुड उसके सारे दोस्त भी मेरे वोटर है तो आई नीड टू बैलेंस माई टेल यू की अगर आप ऐसे नहीं करोगे तो हम वोट मेरे बेटे की मुझे चिंता है मुझे वोट करेगा कि नहीं क्योंकि घर पर माँ अलग है बाकी सब उसके दोस्त मैंने संभाल रखे हैं बट इट्स या आई आई लर्न फ्रॉम देम एंड समटाइम्स अबाउट सर्टन सो माय डॉटर सेड व्हाट इज गोइंग ऑन दिस टीवी आई सेड सम वन वेरिंग लिटिल क्लोथ्स दैट्स व्हाई देर इज अ डिस्कशन गोइंग ऑन इन अ सर्टन चैनल बट दैट्स हर डिसीजन राइट आई सेड विल यू वेयर दिस शी सेड आई डोंट लाइक टू वेयर दैट डज नॉट मीन शी शुड नॉट वेयर इट आई सेड ओके आई रिमेंबर दिस या सो इज इट बिच इज not naked i mean huh. my she lo- she's almost 10 then you have to think a bit hmm. certain way in society where we are going and when people are looking at you as your leaders of the society we cannot be just following the trend so you're receptive to ideas hai na yeah very much very hmm. much not to my sons and daughters ideas much hmm. because no is the only answer i give the first time so do you want to stay <laughs> with uh, state politics uh, puno do you want to go into center at some point of time what is your uh, what is your dream uh, as far as your career in politics is concerned it's like in politics as hazaro khwahish hai aise ki har khwahish pe dam nikle wow. <laughs> <laughs> because hmm. it's such a difficult uh, and specially i won't generalize it but as a woman also it's very tough to handle your house work mm. uh be a particular way where you're safe mm. mentally physically politically there are a lot of aspects you have to look at mm. um i haven't dreamt anything coming into politics was not my dream but i take it as a project that i have to do well mm. my only agenda is whatever has come to me I cannot fail it. I have to do better because this is what my father did. Now that always plays on me subconsciously. I just I'm concentrating on my constituency. I want to show 2024 also. Though there are three parties together, six parties together, thok ke jitungi. Okay. Ek seat add karungi. Bas utna hi. For me, my agendas are very clear. And okay. whatever responsibility is given to me, I enjoyed my four years of Yuva Morcha stint. North East South, where actually Yuva Morcha was not growing, made a lot of friends. First time I was the first Yuva Morcha Adhyaksh who went to Sri Nagar, had a huge rally. So I'm at a right pace where we want now Maharashtra to come out of this whole fight between uh, certain private limited parties and take Maharashtra forward with India. And 2024 is going to be a cakewalk for BJP in Maharashtra and in the country. You feel? You know, I don't want to sound overconfident saying cakewalk, but I'm extremely confident that people, when I meet people, their faith in BJP and Honorable Prime Minister, their expectations from us make us realize, ha, yeah, I'm a chhatte. वो double engine वाला चलती है, बिल्कुल चलती है. डबल इंजन चलेगी अभी तो बुलेट ट्रेन जा रही है ना गोइंग थ्रू माय कंस्टिट्यूएंसी ओनली सो डबल इंजन से ज्यादा भी बुलेट ट्रेन चलेगी वेल विशिंग यू ऑल द लक पूनम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग पार्ट ऑफ द पॉडकास्ट एंड आई होप यू गो फॉरवर्ड एंड मेक इंडिया प्राउड एंड मेक योर पार्टी प्राउड टू ट्राई माय बेस्ट थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग और लिस्निंग इन टू दिस पॉडकास्ट डू लाइक और सब्सक्राइब ऑन विच चैनल यू हैव सीन दिस और हर्ड दिस नमस्ते जय हिंद